You're live with BBC News. I'm Anna Foster here in Beirut as uh, fears continue to grow of a further escalation in the conflict here in the Middle East. We've heard just in the last hour the chief of uh, Israel's defense forces speaking to soldiers on the northern border, telling them to prepare for a ground invasion into southern Lebanon. And we also heard the UK Prime Minister Sakia Starmer talking about that and other world conflicts and crises at the UN in New York. Of course, countries from around the world meeting for the general assembly and our uh, Sumi Summer Skander is there and has been following developments over the last few days. And uh, Sumi, when you hear the calls there for de-escalation, but here in the Middle East, the messages, the sounds, the noise and the fury is very different. Are they expecting at the UN uh, General Assembly to have an impact on what's happening here? I know that really is the most striking difference that I'm seeing right now. These tones of escalation that you're witnessing on the ground there in Lebanon, so different to these calls for de-escalation for a ceasefire, as we've now heard from the British Prime Minister. And you know, there certainly is an optimism because you do have world leaders gathered here, the sense that President Biden, uh, the British Prime Minister, of course, Sir Starmer, and world leaders gathered here are the ones who, at least on the sidelines of the summit, could possibly move forward some diplomatic action. You know, we talked to the Israeli ambassador to the United Nations uh, yesterday, and we saw him again today, and we know that there is this United Nations Security Council meeting taking place this afternoon, particularly on the conflict, on the escalating situation in Lebanon. Remember, it was France that called for this meeting. Well, the Israeli ambassador told us he will be going to that UN Security Council meeting, and he had told us that he wants to make sure that they understand that the aggressor here is Iran. So, of course, they are thinking about civilians, he told me, as uh, the rest of the world is, as we are seeing these calls for a ceasefire, and that is important to the Israelis. But they want it to be clear at this UN Security Council meeting that Iran and Hezbollah are the aggressors here. It would be very interesting to see what might come out of that, Anna, because as you said, the situation is heating up on the ground with this possibility of a ground incursion. Everyone we've been speaking to here, including the Swedish foreign minister who I just spoke to, she said, we are speaking to all of our allies to underline the point that we must find a diplomatic solution so that civilians uh, in Lebanon can re return to their homes as well as in Israel. But at the moment, as things are so hot on the ground, it looks like a very steep hill to climb, doesn't it? Yeah, and as you've been reflecting yourself, Sumi, on BBC News over the last couple of days as well, not just the Middle East that's on the table there. We heard, of course, President Zelensky speaking yeah. earlier as well. There are other crises, other conflicts that need the world's attention too. Absolutely. So President Zelensky delivering his address to the UN earlier today, that got, of course, plenty of attention. He spoke specifically about what he said was a renewed Russian threat on nuclear facilities in Ukraine. And his point there was really to reach out to delegates here at the United Nations to say, this is not a conflict that just affects Ukraine and my country, but rather could soon be something that is brought to the rest of Europe and to the rest of the world as well. And he specifically pointed to the global south, to Brazil, to China, and said that any alternate peace plans that are presented uh, should not be heated because they any peace plan must be a just peace that goes through Ukraine. So certainly that has been a big topic of conversation here today. We know that President Zelensky is headed to the White House on Thursday to present his plan for victory um, to President Biden there. And we'll see what uh, developments uh, happen there. But I have to say, Anna, certainly uh, the escalation in Lebanon is the topic that is dominating the agenda. Again, we'll be following that UN Security Council meeting taking place a little bit later today. Yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing that. I know you've got much more to come uh, from New York. Thank you, uh, Sumi Samaskanda, for joining us from there.